show you a couple of new boards that we have at the moment uh, and explain the differences in these boards. These are the, the 2009 models, I guess you could call them. Um, they're a bit different to last year's models and I'll just explain the differences. This is our, uh, our latest fish model. This is about 6'2 long, about two and three quarter thick, and uh, again has a typical low, very low fish rocker. So you've got really great paddling power here, great planing area. A couple of things we've done differently in this board. To start with, we've put a, uh, an extra fin box in there. We're using the surf fins fin box, which uh, you can use the surf fins in there or the FCS fins in there. This is just set up with the uh, FCS G5s in there at the moment. Now, of course, having five fins doesn't, or slots for five fins doesn't mean to say that you wouldn't use five fins, but it's there, it's available. You could use it as a, a thruster, just having the front two fins and the back fin. You pull out the back fin, use it as a quad fin, or even just as a, as a, a twin fin. So the back fin's gonna give it a, a bit more of a, a stability, particularly in a bigger wave. In a bigger wave, I'd suggest the, the two front fins and the back fin in smaller waves, the four fins, and possibly in really small waves, the five fins. Something else this board has that uh, our last year model boards didn't have, and this is an option, of course, is the, the twin stringer setup. We've done this for a couple of reasons. One, just to give you a bit more strength in the tail. Uh, Swallow tails are often fraught with danger as far as breaking off the, the tails are concerned. Uh, but what we've done is put the stringer right to the tail in this model board so that you can, you've got the strength right there in the tail. You've got timber right to the tail. What we've also done in this board, we've reduced the depth of the swallowtail. In, uh, in last year's model board, the swallowtail came right up to about here. It was a really deep swallowtail. So we've reduced the depth of the swallowtail. Uh, and in doing that, what we need to do is just round off the rails a little bit behind the fins so that there's a bit more water release off the rails. We've also narrowed the tail down. In, in last year's model board, the tail came out to 13 inches wide at the tips which is a really wide tail. So we've narrowed it down to 10 inches wide at the tips, but at, at the 12 inch mark, it's still the same width basically. So we just pulled the tail in, just to make it a little bit easier to uh, pull around into, into a cutback. Uh, last year's fish, it was so fast down the line. Uh, it was so fast, in fact, it was really hard to pull it back into a cutback. So uh, just pulling the tail a bit has made it a little bit easier. Now, something else we've done, and you can just see it here, you just focus in around the rails here. What we're doing with these boards is recycling foam from other manufacturers. What we do is get foam offcuts, the whale bones, the, the offcuts from the blanks, and we glue these on. You can see the glue line just here outside this black line here. So what we're doing is recycling foam and making these boards, but it's also giving extra, extra density on the rails. So, uh, it's more ding resistant, so it's a, an EPS uh, foam blank, but with a PU rail on it. Uh, I guess the other thing you can notice with this board is this colour job, which is looking pretty good. Now we've, we've got this new technique for doing these colour jobs, and uh, as you can see it looks pretty spectacular. Everyone is unique. I, I, can, I can duplicate this, but uh, it's, it's hand done, so even if I, even if I even if I duplicate this, it's still going to be unique. It won't ever be two, two that are the same. So that's our, that's our 2009 model fish. Great little board. Available right now. Uh, now, these are expensive boards. They're not cheap boards. One of the reasons they're expensive, made in Australia. Not uh, imported from some little factory in China or whatever. Made in Australia using new and recycled materials. And this is made to last this board. This is rock solid. This is going to last you a long, long time. Hand it down to your children. I love it. Okay, that's our 2009 model fish. G'day, Murray Seth here, BMW Surfboards. Just want to show you my new wave stealer. This is the new 2009 model wave stealer. 
This particular model is uh, 7.6, about 9 and 3 quarter wide, uh, 2 and 3 quarter thick, a bit more thickness than last year's model. We've just moved the widest point a little bit further forward as well, so there's a little bit more foam under the chest now. We've also lowered the, the nose rocker, it's, it's, it's not as much lift in the nose now, so we get got better paddling, better wave catching ability. And we just pulled in the tail a little bit more to a, a bit more of a point as well. With uh, the fin set up, uh, last year's model was just a, a typical thruster. We've added in these two extra fins now, so you can use uh, two, three, four or five fins, whatever you want. Even a single fin, I guess, if you wanted to, but it's probably a bit far back for that. What we've also done is put a bit more, a bit more lift in the tail. So we've reduced the, the nose rocker and increased the tail rocker, uh, which will just make it a bit friendlier to surf. It'll fit into what into the bottom of the wave a bit better. Um, and also, of course, we have our new our new colour jobs here. You might have seen the fish model that we have. This is just a different design colour job. Every colour job's unique. Uh, it's a unique unique uh, technique for, for doing these colour jobs, and uh, we think it looks pretty good. Of course, this is made in Australia. It's made using new and recycled materials. The, the rail material is recycled, so the, the, the foam blank is an EPS foam, foam blank, but the, the rails are normal polyurethane foam. What we do is gather the offcuts from other manufacturers. We glue these onto the rails of the board, shape the rails, we get better shaped rails and a higher density foam in the rails. So this is a great board for a uh, an older guy like me who likes to ride a shortboard but uh, uh, doesn't want to ride a mini mel or a mel. Great wave catching ability and uh, great surf ability too. So it's it's a lot more like riding a shortboard. Uh, has the great looks of a shortboard but has that great paddling power so you can paddle into lots of ways. I, what I actually do, uh, I alternate between riding the fish and riding this type of board. Uh, I use the fish on the small days and these this board on the bigger days, although it's surprising, sometimes I've got down the beach and been caught out and just had this board with me, or a board like this anyway, and uh, they're surprisingly good in little ways as well. So we can make this shape uh, in any length you want really, but you know I suggest anything from 7 foot, even up to about 9 foot we can do these ones. Uh, so the 9 foot ones we uh, can do and these are going to be more like a, a mel to paddle, but more like a short board to ride. So um, yeah, that's our latest, our latest and greatest. And uh, these boards are available for demo. If you want to pick, come and pick up a board and try it out, you're most welcome to. Thanks very much. Thank you. 